Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 16 of Let's Play The Hand of Glory Part 2. So, in the previous episode, we ended up in England somehow, a lot went on, and now we have to make a bomb. Let's have a look at this, see what we need. Bomb Maker's Note. So, we need a cork, a fuse, a cylindrical container, and good powder. Well, I already think the cylindrical, cylindrical container we could possibly use. Um, Green darts, handlebars. All I had left of my poor green dart. So maybe if I do that with that. In that moment, I didn't. No. Okay. Never mind. Um, mortar. Apparently no doubt mortar. Clinton would let me take it, but I could use it on the spot. Apparently there was mortar there. Who knew? Right. We can talk to Alice, but I don't think I don't really want to. I just want to get on with the mission. Hey there. Can't you wait eight minutes or so, damn it? I bet my monthly wage on this match. I'll be quick, I promise. I suppose you're familiar with Ariel. Uh, Do you also sell strong stuff here? Finally, you order something. I was starting to believe you were only here to make me miss the highlights. A uh, nice whiskey, please. Whiskey? <laughs> you Americans really don't know how to enjoy things. I'm not exactly American. Uh, what do you suggest? The English nectar par excellence, of course. Gin, born in the Middle Ages as a medicine and surviving until today with the same identical role. Is gin a medicine? A medicine for the soul. Wait there. He's going to walk off. Do I get to do anything? Can I do anything whilst he's gone? No. Let's just have the gin. Why not? I like a bit of gin. Enjoy it. Feel its soft and warm caress sliding down your sliding gullet. Sliding yeah. down your um, gullet. I'll let it breathe for a bit first. It's eight pounds. It's pretty reasonable for a London bar. Having been in several London bars before. It does look like a pretty pretty large uh, quota of gin going on right there. Right. It's a bit dark around here. You think so too? I was considering putting some 150 watt bulbs on the counterboard of the bar. I was being ironic. This pub alone can enlighten the entire neighborhood. England is a pretty rainy place, and I try to remedy that however I can, okay? Actually, you know what? What? What are you saying, Quentin? Ah, oh, fancy. Wonderful. Can we pick up a gin? Putting it in my coat was out of the question, but I could use it on the spot. And by using it, I didn't mean drink. I never liked gin. What was the purpose of putting those lights on? Any any reason whatsoever? So I have to use the mortar on the spot. I doubted Quentin would let me take... Right, mortar on the spot. Ooh, power supply. What was, what was the point in that? Oh, hmm. Not sure. Let's talk to him again. Hey there. Anything else you want to say? Um, I suppose you're familiar with this area. Not much. I have everything I need right here. So you don't know anything about the King Lyrae? The cemetery. A dusty but ritzy place. You'd like it. Why don't you go right now? <laughs> I've already been there, actually. Well, go back there. And leave me alone once and for all. I worked in a bar once. I'm not hiring. Are you sure? I make amazing cocktails. We don't serve cocktails here. This is a pub with dignity. I'll leave you to your match. Good. So what else can we click on? Anything over here? I don't think I can go out, can I? No. Can I go out this way? I can go out that way. But I want to talk to this guy. Oh, I can't. I can just look at him. Let's look at Christian then. He looked like the type of man that would tattoo his rings on your forehead if he was bothered. Well, on closer inspection, I realized I'd already seen him. He was the inventor of the Pop Pop, the awesome firecracker that saved my life in Miami. Oh, so no doubt he's got something to do with gunpowder. He looked like the type. So what could we? What's that coin? I thought it was better to. Let's have a look at the cork. Maybe I can use the coin for a cork. This was what I had left after buying the gin. So if I use the coin with handlebars... In that moment... It... No. You see where I'm going with it though, don't you? Gin... 
Anything else? I mean, why did you turn the lights on? Let's, let's have a look Alice at Alice. was busy with her research. Nothing. Mortar. Let's use handlebars with mortar. Was it really worth it? <laughs> no. The bracelet I had found in the fake tomb of Cagliostro, which, according to the doctor, could block the powers of the Hand of Glory. Okay. So let's use the No mortar. matter how hard I... What do I need to use mortar for? Why have I got a gun? Oh, that was out of the car. I remember. In that moment... I remember. Well, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just going to go out this way. See what else I can find out here. Oh, I'm back here already. Um, anything else in the toolbox? Unfortunately, it was locked, and I couldn't see anything new. Well, what's the name? Could well, I can't go out there because I can't click on the car. It will just take me back to the pub. Let's go into it. Let's go into here. See if there's anything I can pick up. Oh, there's a guy there. Let's talk to man. Hey. Do you need something? I just wanted a word with you. I am Lazarus Bundy, and I come from Miami. I'm Matthew, and I come from the dust. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, you know, from dust you have come, and to dust you shall return. I was trying to stay in character, to make your visit to this cemetery more immersive. You just gave me the chills. <laughs> You worked at the library long. Nah, I found this amazing job just a couple of months ago. You're being sarcastic, right? This is a cemetery reserved for nobles and aristocrats, with a minimum turnout of visitors. I pretend to clean, sometimes I sweep up a few leaves. A real godsend. The most complex task I have to deal with is the maintenance of the tombstones. You know, making the inscriptions, being sure they don't break, stuff like that. But... Don't you feel a deep sense of responsibility towards the people buried here? Let's put it this way. None of my customers have ever complained about the service. <laughs> what can you tell me about the Undertaker? Oh, she's one of the plagues of Egypt. She'd be able to babble 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, without interruption. I'll leave you, uh, to your work. Well, he was unhelpful, maintenance guy. Can I, click on? I can't click on the leaves anymore. Um... I'm convinced I have to use this handle box Maybe. or something. Can I just pick the candle up? The candle wax will be useful to seal my explosive. Oh, brilliant. What are you doing? I'm interested in this candle. This isn't a souvenir shop. Oh, I can't believe people. He'd be interested. Fine, fine. I get it. I'll keep my hands to myself. So, did I get it? I didn't. Hmm. Can I distract the maintenance guy? I had nothing else to ask. Oh man, I can't distract him. I can get can I get the ladder? He's gonna stop me, isn't he? Don't climb, mate. You could fall and break your head. Well it's nice to see you worry about me. I'm not worried about you, I'm worried for me. Do you know how much work it is digging a grave? Very fun. Top. The maintenance guy wouldn't let me get closer. <sighs> well, that's useless, isn't it? I'm presuming I have to how to how would I get rid of him? The woman, the undertaker? Can I go this way? Over there, certain death awaited me at the hands of Mama or Eugene. I had made them both very angry. I like this little tripod that the random candle in the middle of the uh, outside cemetery is. But I can't click on it. Nevertheless, let's go and talk to the woman see if I can get him to move. Because I want the candle wax. Undertaker. No. That woman oh, was as what? annoying as a mosquito. Hmm. Hearse. The hearse was empty, so according to superstition, it wouldn't bring me any misfortune. Or is it the opposite? Can I do something on that? Oh, wedge. Is that going to make the tombstone fall over? As much as I was tempted to do that, I had no reason to. Oh, come on, of course you do. You knock it over. And then the guy's gonna um Yeah, gonna leave where he is. Do I have anything that I could use on the wedge? Good old handlebars that's working on the I nothing. thought it was better. No, nothing. Camera sign. Anything else? Cross. Let's just look at it. 
I wondered if it was linked in any way to the Rosicrucian, but the lack of any iconography suggested the opposite. That was not very helpful. Don't think I can really click on anything else. I've got a little bit of grass there, no. Um, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Hmm. Shall I pull the gun out on him? On the guy. On the, on the maintenance guy. I thought it was better to look for another. Okay, I'm gonna go to the maintenance guy and see if he's said anything. See if I can see if he can say anything else. Since I've looked at the tombstone now, or whether it's just gonna go. Can't do anything. I had nothing else to. Have. I had nothing else to ask him. Shut up, Lazarus. Come on, of course you do. Of course you do. Anything here? Ladder. So I've essentially got three screens to search, which is this one, the previous one, and the pub. Um, maybe I missed something at the pub. Maybe, I mean, I have got a, this is, I obviously have to move that wedge, but why would I do that? That tombstone had to be a work in progress, judging by the adjacent toolbox and the absence of any engravings. It was Matthew who handled that, but at the moment, that deadbeat was hanging out on the other side of the cemetery. Okay, so now I'm going to talk to her about him not doing his job. Maybe? Yes? Yes? No. 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 Can I engrave with, <laughs> with a coin of course with a coin what else I didn't understand um oh I like that so I just noticed that London I mean yeah it does rain a lot in England it's um it's snowing actually at the moment just for you guys in real world land maybe but, uh yeah nothing let's go back let's go back to the pub See if I missed anything at the pub. Right, Christian. I mean, why is why is this guy put on the lights? Why could I randomly click on the that there? Could click on it and then I now I can't. Not sure. Not sure. I always found old jukeboxes fascinating, but that one was so tacky, it almost looked like a slot machine. Putting it in my coat was out of the question, but I could use it on the spot. Right, what can I, what can I use in the gin? Handlebars. Why would I use that in handlebars? Although gin was flammable, it oh. wouldn't be necessary as an ingredient for the explosive mix. Although gin was flammable, it wouldn't be necessary as an ingredient for the explosive mix. So it's flammable. Gun. Sometimes. Gun with a mortar. Maybe. Oh, come on. Right click on it. For my little project, I needed some gunpowder. Oh. So I removed the bullets from the weapon Alice gave me. Oh, well, there you go. Bullets. Is this the... Is this... The, little the pestle for the mortar was made of wood, so not suitable to extract the gunpowder. The glass? The bolts were sufficiently explosive on their own. Can I use it in there? Good idea, but first I needed to extract the gunpowder. Can I use the coin? Sometimes, my obsession... Uh... The... I didn't understand. Maybe? How could I extract... Gunpowder. Let's right click on it. I'd remove the bullets from Mama's gun. I hope she didn't have a backup piece. This was what I had left after buying the gin. Hmm. All I had left of my poor green dart. Just right clicking on everything. It now. emanated a power I was able to neither decipher nor quantify. Plus, I couldn't look at it for too long without feeling a sense of discomfort. So I need to open these bullets to get the get the gunpowder. How do you think I could do that? Where else could I do that? I'm going to right click on this. A little mortar used to grind herbs, spices, or the dolls of your little sister. I was in a pestle and mortar. I was thinking mortar as in um, you build a house with a cement and that's mortar, bricks and mortar. But it's a pestle. It's a, a little mortar used to grind herbs, spice. And that's where you're going to build the bomb, I guess. The pestle for the mortar was made of wood, so not suitable to extract the gunpowder. 
Okay. Um. No matter how. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. No matter how. Maybe I could throw it on the flame of the candle. Let's let's try it. Or maybe I can push it over into here. And they go bang. I didn't understand how that was. It really worth. It wasn't really worth it. Come on, Miles. Let's go this way. Let's use the bullets with the flame. On the off chance that it's going to explode. I was all out of ideas. Ah, I was all out of ideas. Let's show them to the maintenance guy. In that moment, guy. it didn't seem to be. A the maintenance guy was whistling as if he was assigned to pastry tasting in a bakery. I had nothing else to ask him. Hmm. I'm a bit stuck. What else can I do? I'm going to press spacebar and see what else is here. Candle, the guy, the ladder. That's just to go this way, isn't it? Yeah. And then the tarp. Um, I need to get rid of the guy. So I need to get rid of the guy and I need to open the bullets. What else do I need to get? Let's have a quick look. So gunpowder is in the bullets. The cylindrical container is that part of green dark. Green dark? Green dart. The cork... I'm thinking it's the coin, possibly, and a fuse. I haven't got any fuse yet, have I? Mm, no fuse, no fuse. In order to gain access to the crypt, I will fabricate an explosive stick following Christian's notes. Right, that is what I am attempting hmm, to do. No, nothing. I can't. I can't make him move. I'm going to press space on this page as well because there seems to be quite a lot. Wedge, camera, all the usual stuff, isn't it? I can't. Unfortunately, it was locked and I couldn't see anything useful in the side compartment. Can I try and wedge it open? Sometimes. If it's locked. Sometimes. I mean, Alice found, that moment, Alice found something in it. I don't really want to use all these ancient artifacts I didn't under with it. Let's have a look at the, at the sign. No zombification. Ooh, ooh. There must have been a black humor lover around here. Or, at least, I hope that was the case. That's a bit weird. Yeah, it is a bit gross, isn't it? Anything that I can click on? A little slot there, no? That's maybe it's just a nice piece of art that the, the, the developer wanted to show me. Let's talk to the Undertaker again, see if that says anything about the no. Uh no, 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 no. The graveyard was equipped with a surveillance system. Ugh, ugh, guys, ugh, that's what I want to say. Ugh, I was all out of. Um, right, I'm gonna. Just talk to him, see if he says anything about the sign. I had nothing else to ask him. No. Alright, let's go back to the pub. Again. Let's talk to this chap. He looked like the type of man that would tattoo his rings on your forehead if he was bothered. So, let's ask him about the bullets. I thought it was better to look for another solution. Okay. I think I might press spacebar on this screen as well, just to see if I've missed anything here. Right, there's something on my feet there. I have pistachio. I couldn't believe what I saw. A little delicious intoxicating pistachio. And it was mine. Oh, all mine. Hmm. I'm going to press space again, because that's the kind of guy I am now, apparently. Um, yeah, there's nothing, nothing there. I mean, to be honest, I... It was it was small in my defence. It was small. What can I use this pistachio for? I love pistachios. You love? Can you eat it? Maybe put it in the pestle and mortar. I thought it was better to look for another solution. Let's give it to Alice. You want some pistachios? I saw you when you picked it up from the floor, <laughs> so I'll pass. About this chap. Does Christian want a pistachio? You want some pistachios? It's all furry and sooty. What the hell did you do with it? <laughs> Do you want some pistachios? Nah. If you found it in here, it must be at least 15 years old. 
<laughs> it reminds me of. Um, I don't know this game is is uh, influenced by Broken Sword, but it reminds me of George Stobart showing everyone. Do you want to see my lucky piece of coal? And do you want to see me this tissue? Dirty tissue. I thought it was better to look. <laughs> do you want to see my pistachio? <laughs> Uh, right, I'm I'm literally walking from screen to screen. Do you think I could give the pistachio to the two, um, the maintenance Maybe. guy? I'm gonna remove the bullets from. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give the pistachio, pistachio, pistachio to the maintenance guy. Let's give it to this woman first. She might love pistachios. You want some pistachios? I prefer to use my mouth for talking, thanks. By the way, would you like... <laughs> Always alone. Pff. Right, take my pistachio. Take it. Do you want some pistachios? No, I'm fine, thanks. I've just eaten the biggest plate of fish and chips of all time. I have vinegar coming out of my ears. Bunch of ingrates. Ugh. That was horrible. My pistachio. <laughs> that was worth it. It was absolutely worth it. Walking around asking people to see my pistachio. Developers, for the Hand of Glory Part 2, sorry, Hand of Glory 2, um, which I don't know how this even ends, so it probably won't, isn't even going to be a sequel. But um, yeah, have Lars carry a bag of pistachios around. That'd be hilarious. Just, just ask everyone, do you want to see my pistachio? Well, this episode is worth it all alone. This episode is now called Pistachio. Unless something major happens in the next couple of minutes. But at the minute, I am stuck. I found some bullets in a gun. That's as far as we've got in 20 minutes. How do we extract... How do we extract gunpowder from bullets? I'd remove the bullets from Mama's gun. I hope she didn't have a backup piece. Need to. Can I use the phone with it? I didn't understand. I didn't understand either, Lars. Right, I'm going to right click on a few things. The bracelet I had found in the. Done it. The doctor defined it as a sheep. Done it. Done that one. Let's have a look at the gun now. I'd remove the bullets from Mama's gun. I hope she didn't have a backup piece. So if I give the bullet, put, put the I thought back. it was better to look. No. I'd remove the bullets from Mama's gun. I hope she didn't have a back. All right, come on. Can I go that way now for remove the bullets? Is it still going to say? Over there, certain death await. No. Right, 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 right. Maintenance guy, maintenance guy. I need to make him move. How do I make him move? I think it's got to be done with that, with the, uh, with the grave. Something's got to be done with this grave. Can I kick it over? Now that I've looked at it. As much as I was tempted to do that, I had no reason to. You do, to make him move. Mm, can I use something with the wedge? Not really, can I? Well, it's with a wedge. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I'm getting out of ideas, right. I'm just going to go talk to the barman again and see if I can talk to Alice. In case he has to, I had nothing to else say. to ask him. No, nothing else to ask him. Putting it in my coat was out of the question, but I could use it on the spot. That's what I used to get the gun. Thanks to Quentin, that gin had already acquired an aura of legend. I would have used it to get the bullet to get the. Did I use that on there? The bullets were sufficiently explosive on their own. Okay. Handlebars. Although gin was flammable, it wouldn't be necessary as an ingredient for the explosive mix. Ah, uh, right. I'm becoming unstuck, ladies and gentlemen. So we have a phone, a handlebar, bracelet, sigillum MF, mirror, gun, bomb maker's note, coin, and bullets. And we have three screens. We have to make something. So, what do you think I should do? Please help me in the comments, because otherwise I'm going to be walking around here forever. And I'm going to have to leave it there because I'm not sure what to do. So yeah, if you have any tips, any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. And um, I think this episode is like, this episode definitely deserves a like for the pistachios alone. I mean, I enjoyed that very much so. So until next time, 
Have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon. Um, yeah, have a good one. Take care.